Hey guys, so a couple of weeks ago I filmed a video about some of my favorite back covers and when I was going through my shelves for that video I realized kind of for the first time just how many beautiful hardbacks I own. Now I'm not just talking about books with beautiful dust jackets but books that are actually beautiful underneath the dust jacket or hardcovers that didn't come with a dust jacket at all and are just beautifully, beautifully designed. So I'm going to start off with books that are beautiful under their dust jackets and I've just realized looking at the stack I have here that they are all published by Scholastic Press and that they are all actually books that I read either as a younger reader or as a kid and really, really enjoyed. Now the first two books I have to show you are both by the author Richard Peck and Unfortunately, I don't remember a whole lot about his writing aside from the fact that he writes mainly early America stories, so think like 1800s, um, and I was really into his writing as a middle schooler. So the first one I want to show you is A Year Down Yonder, which obviously won the Newbery Medal. I kind of wish they hadn't put the medal so huge on the cover because I think this is an absolutely beautiful illustrated cover which wraps all the way around and let's just face it the color used here is absolutely stunning very vivid very bright the other richard peck novel i have is called fair weather and this one is set um during a world exposition which is why it appropriately has a giant ferris wheel on the cover now this one i actually prefer to a year down yonder i think that's mainly just because i'm kind of into vintage or retro uh design right now, but I love the color palette. I just think this one is absolutely beautiful, obviously, otherwise it wouldn't be in this video. The next two are, like I said, from my childhood and very, very nerdy of me. They are both Star Wars books by Jude Watson. Now I have mentioned this in several videos before, but I was a huge fan of Jude Watson's Star Wars series for kids. Um, I was a particular fan of the Jedi Apprentice series, which followed a young Obi-Wan Kenobi while he was Qui-Gon Jinn's Padawan, and then the Jedi Quest series, which is Anakin um, as Obi-Wan's Padawan. In addition to those series, Jude Watson had some special edition books come out that spanned multiple generations of Master Padawan relationships, and these are two of those special editions. Now, I believe this one was the first to come out, um, though I don't really prefer this cover so much, but I mean, you have to just it is really stunning what they've done with the graphics here, but I think I prefer this one mainly because having all of this Jedi awesomeness on the cover is too hard to ignore and the back ain't too shabby either. Now of course I can't talk about beautiful naked hardbacks without mentioning some Cornelia Funk books. I have talked about the Inkworld trilogy or the Inkheart trilogy so many times on this channel and I actually have a full trilogy review in case you would like to go check that out. All of the books have this kind of design both on the dust jacket and printed right on the book and they're very thematic to each book. The color palette's very specified to each book and I just think they're absolutely stunning and they spare no detail from, you know, this fake binding to the little uh, insect right here on the back. Of course she has written other books as well and the other hardback I own of hers is Dragon Rider and again we have another illustrated cover here and I just think this is absolutely beautiful. I love how it wraps around the entire cover and ugh, I like the use of foil. I just I can't get over her books. They are so beautiful. Moving into some books that just didn't come with dust jackets at all but are equally as beautiful. I have two books here from the Illustrated Junior Library uh, collection by Grosset and Dunlap. Um, these are super old school. This one is the Swiss Family Robinson and like I said super into vintage design right now so this just really appeals to my soul but um, this same illustration style is used inside the book to illustrate it so I think it ties it together really nicely and then the other one from this same collection of books that I own is Little Women. Um, I actually haven't read either of these. I know bad bad reader of me but I think these are just so stunning to look at and especially with their um with their foiled spines I just think they look super nice on your shelves. Speaking of foil I of course have to share my very beautiful Barnes and Noble Jane Austen collection. The design for this is done by Sarah Trainer, and I think these are absolutely gorgeous. Obviously we have a lot of gold foil going on here. The sides are also gold. Um, it's just so intricate and there's no good way to show you guys this because it's gonna glare but I just think these additions 
are so incredibly beautiful. And of course, I have my only Penguin English Library edition to share with you guys. This is Cranford by Elizabeth Gaskell, and I am not a huge fan of this base color. I think it's a little bright, and I think maybe it would look better if I had more of these editions. Um, but overall, I really enjoy this pattern. I think I think you can call it debossed, right? When it's sunken in, not popping out like embossing. Um, but I think this is really nice pattern. Unfortunately, the back hasn't held up so well. If you can see here, the color is starting to wear off. But all in all, I think these are beautiful additions. And like I said, I wish I had more of them. Then the last two books I have to share with you guys are more contemporary books. And the first one is The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. This one is printed by 10 Speed Press and Crown Publishing. And I just, I've shared this again in a video before and I just really like the color palette that they've used. Um, I really like the way that turquoise goes with oranges and reds so I think this works for me beautifully and it just it's very simple and very subtle um, which is actually very Japanese inspired so I just think it all works and it's beautiful. And lastly I have a book to share with you guys from the amazing people over at Quirk Books. Uh, this is Manhattan Mayhem which is a collection of short crime and mystery fiction that was edited by Mary Higgins Clark. Now Quirk Books always puts so much effort into the aesthetic of their books, which I really, really appreciate. Again, I'm loving the turquoise and the pops of red. I just think it's beautiful. This is a map of Manhattan, for those of you who can't see because I'm filming on my phone. Um, and it's just, it wraps all the way around. It's so stunning. Even on the uh, cor the spine here, I don't know if you can see that, even on the spine here, there's little detailing. And it's just, honestly, the attention Quirk gives to their aesthetics is second to none in my opinion. So those were all of the beautiful naked hardbacks that I wanted to share with you guys today and let's just give a, a moment of appreciation and a shout out to cover designers and book designers out there everywhere because I'm just I'm feeling appreciation for the book as an object right now. Of course I would love to see some more beautiful naked hardbacks so if you guys feel like doing your own video please let me know down below and I will definitely go check it out but other than that that's all I have for today so thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having a great one and I will see you next time. Bye!